Okay, example three. A rocket is launched so that it rises vertically. A camera is positioned 5,000 feet from the launch pad. When the rocket is 1,000 feet above the launch pad, its velocity is 600 feet per second. Find the necessary rate of change of the camera's angle as a function of time so that it stays focused on the rocket. We always want to begin our problem with trying to visualize it. So we've got a camera and its horizontal distance from the launch pad is 5,000 feet. And this is not going to change because it doesn't indicate to us that the camera is moving. Then we have a rocket and we're going to, oh it says vertically. When the rocket is 1,000 feet above the launch pad, so this is a singular moment in time, this is not a fixed value, but a variable. And let's call it V, no, HT for height, since it is variable. The velocity is 600 feet per second. And so velocity, we're going to consider our dh dt or our h prime is 600 feet per second. Find the necessary rate of change of the camera's angle as a function of time so that it stays focused on the rocket. So as you're visualizing this, you can probably tell that it's a right triangle. Then you might be tempted to think Pythagorean theorem. The only problem is we're not solving for the length of the hypotenuse. So what instead we've set up is a right triangle trigonometry problem. Now think back to your last trigonometry experience and think about Sokotoa. We're going to be using one of our tr three trig functions, sine, cosine, or tangent, in order to come up with a function for the variable theta. Since the vertical distance is opposite the angle and the horizontal distance is adjacent the angle, we're really looking at tangent and tangent is opposite over adjacent. So I've got h of t, which is variable, it's a change in quantity, over 5000, which is a fixed quantity. Now, what is it that we're trying to solve for in this related rate problem? It says, find the rate of change of the camera's angle. So what we're really looking for here is d theta dt. So let's take a derivative. What is the derivative of tangent? And then we're using our implicit chain rule here. So we're going to throw a d theta dt. Again, this is, oops, this is our goal variable. Uh, let's box it. And then on the right hand side, uh, this is not a quotient rule because the 5000 is a constant. So we're just going to find the derivative and it'll still be over 5000. So the derivative of h of t is going to be dh dt. And let's go ahead and solve this function for d theta dt since that is what we're looking for here. d theta dt equals zoom issues dh dt divided by 5,000 secant squared theta. All right, let's find all of the unknowns that we need to on the right-hand side. First is dhtt. We actually know that as 600 feet per second, but we also need to know what secant squared is. Now this is our right triangle trig problem, and we actually have the ability to find secant. Remember that secant is the reciprocal of cosine. So secant theta is 1 over cosine theta. And so all we need to do in this problem is find the cosine theta and reciprocate it. We know the adjacent side. We don't know the hypotenuse, but we can always use our Pythagorean theorem to find the missing hypotenuse. So we're going to set up 
a squared plus b squared equals c squared, and find this missing hypotenuse as a simplified radical rather than a rounded variable. So we've got 5,000 squared plus 1,000 squared equals c squared. And then depending on your calculator's capabilities, you might have a calculator that can simplify radicals for you. You might not have a calculator that can simplify radicals for you, and you need to simplify this radical by hand. And so we are going to be finding C, C, which is the square root of 26 million. And so we're actually just going to get that C is equal to 1,000 times the square root of 26, because the square root of 26 does not simplify. All right, with that missing value, we are good to go on finding secant squared. So again, secant is the reciprocal of cosine. So in this context, secant is going to be the hypotenuse over the adjacent and then we do want secant squared so we're going to go ahead and square both sides of this and simplify at the same time so I'm going to start with the 1000 and 5000 which should simplify to 1 fifth and so we're left with the square root of 26 squared over 5 squared and now we can substitute all of the unknowns into the right side of our equation to get a solution for d theta dt. So d theta dt is equal to the change, the rate of the change of the vertical height, which was 600 feet per second. Divided by 5,000 times secant squared, which is 26 over 25. Simplify, simplify, simplify all the simplification you can handle. And it looks like we are going 